All right, Doc Positive here at the Paws Veterinary Clinic, and uh, we're just getting this kitty cat prepared for surgery. This kitty cat is about to undergo a neuter procedure, but also an enucleation. An enucleation is the surgical removal of an eyeball. If you look here, if you can see, this kitty has a what's called a ruptured globe and a ruptured globe is a ruptured eyeball now this kitten a uh, young cat six months old or so actually has a ruptured globe secondary to an upper respiratory infection never underestimate an upper respiratory infection in a young cat Upper respiratory infections caused by a variety of um, viruses and uh, bacteria, uh, Khaleesi virus, chlamydia, uh, herpes virus. That is what the feline distemper vaccine vaccinates against, FVRCP, feline viral rhinotracheitis, Khaleesi, panleukopenia, and occasionally chlamydia. Now, these kitties get these upper respiratory infections because they're born to uh, mother cats that have never been vaccinated, uh, never been uh, protected against the disease because kittens are born protected by maternal antibodies. Those maternal antibodies cross the placenta, pass through the milk, colostrum. When kittens nurse, the problem being is if the mother cat was never vaccinated, she does not have any antibodies of her own. So she's not passing any maternal antibodies onto the kittens. And thus the kittens are born, no maternal antibodies, and if they are exposed to these diseases, they have no protection. Maternal antibodies last anywhere 4, 6, 8, 10, 12 weeks in kittens. And then they start to drop off. That's when we start vaccinating kittens to form their own immunity. But if they have no immunity and they get exposed to a cat or a kitten that has an upper respiratory infection, they're very, very susceptible. And these uh, diseases can cause eye infections severe enough to actually cause uh, ulcers and rupture of the cornea. And the problem is that is not going to heal uh, well. And even if it does heal, uh, kitties that have had a ruptured globe, and that, for that matter dogs that have had a ruptured globe, ruptured eyeball, are very, very prone later on in life to cancers of the eye itself, malignant tumors, uh, and so uh, we make the kitty much more comfortable by removing the eyeball. We eliminate any potential tumors of the eyeball down the road. Uh, Cats and dogs uh, do have binocular vision, two eyes, but they adjust very, very well, uh, probably better than people do, to the removal of an eye. So we're going to remove the eye, neuter this kitty at the same time, and eliminate some problems down the road. More to follow. Bye now. Okay, our nucleation is done. Uh, the nucleation in a cat uh, or a dog uh, is not a particularly complicated surgery because as I would imagine in human medicine you're looking to conserve a lot of the structures, a lot of the musculature, the eyelids for fitting of a prosthetic eye afterwards. With uh, dogs and cats we're not fitting them with a prosthesis. We don't need to conserve the musculature. We need to get the eye out. We need to close the deficit and to uh, ensure that uh, we don't get what's called a dry socket uh, that because when you remove the eye uh, you do not want that uh, dead space that pocket to get uh, what's called a dry socket and so uh, this kitty cat uh, is now uh, 
had its eye removed. And what we have here, we have some uh, roll gauze uh, because what we do, we take that roll gauze, we soak that in betadine, and then we fill the deficit. We fill the socket with that. So you can't really see, but over here there's a little piece of that gauze sticking out because in a couple of days we will uh, remove that betadine soaked gauze. So that helps to uh, prevent a dry socket. So over here, what we have, we have the eyeball. Not sure you want to see that uh, with a lot of the musculature attached. Right next to it, we have uh, one of the other uh, balls, one of the testicles. This cat is a young cat. So uh, his testicle is very small, eyeballs, an eyeball, but this cat will do very, very well. Post operatively, it eliminates the risk of uh, cancer of the eyeball from the perforated globe. Bye now.